What's up everybody, it's your least favorite YouTuber here, and today we're going to talk about where Call of Duty stands today in my own eyes. Not your eyes, not the overall player's eyes, just mine. So this is my opinion, and I think what I want. Anyways, here's how I got into COD in the first place. I played the first Call of Duty on PlayStation 1, I believe. I'll so stop saying the words with the P's in them, because it's really annoying. Um, so this time was actually very fun. It was not all about KDs, where people could just make fun of you and search to destroy because your KDs under 10,000. And it was a good time. It started off very well. I mean, it was fun at the time, and I loved it. You know, because now I don't really seem to care about it except the zombies. But that comes in later. Then I was about, like, 9 years old. I really got into it because I got a PlayStation 3 for my birthday. No, Christmas. So, around this time, I didn't really know games and consoles and everything. I still like the Xbox better, even though the PlayStation was actually my first console, if you didn't know. Actually, I think it was the GameCube. Anyways, I was about nine years old, and um, I saw the game called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I was like, oh, nice. I love this game. I played it, like, so much years ago. I'm gonna get it. I put the disc in and waited days for the update to finish. That's hyperbole right there. I gave him hope when I started playing it. I was like, this is alright, but it could be better. I was a young David Vonderhart at the time. So I thought, this isn't the game. So I looked up a whole bunch of things. I looked up, apparently, Call of Duty is its own franchise. Pretty amazing. So, years later, Black Ops 1 came out. I love that game so much. Probably my favorite Call of Duty to this day, but I don't really... I'm not really in the mood for a whole observation on all the Call of Duties. After that, Modern Warfare 3 came out. Probably the first game I actually bought on release, because I played the second one, and I was like... and I was intrigued, because the second one is just awful, just noob tubes everywhere. I almost cried, because it was actually kind of balanced. I mean... You can actually use any gun in this game, basically. Now, I know there's a lot of OP guns, like the PP, M9, or whatever it's called, and the uh, MP7, but hey, at least it's better than Modern Warfare 2, am I right? Then, a so-called masterpiece that everyone loves came out after that. Black Ops 2. Not a fan of Black Ops 2. I honestly gotta say I hate it today. Maybe because the guns are all awful, and the hit detection and lag just makes me feel insane. This is the time I had an Xbox 360, by the way. You know, because uh, if to all you original fans back out there, probably you're not watching this because you're probably dead. Because my channel isn't really active. Step it up, guys. No, but seriously. Um, you know, this is when I record with my phone. And I did not like Black Ops 2. But the concept of it was so amazing. You know, the camos were awesome. You know, diamond camo was fun to get for the shotguns. And it's just fun. The only reason why I actually enjoy is probably all the inside jokes and hilarious moments that happened on Search and Destroy with my best friends that I still know today. It was fun. Loved it. Everything else was terrible except zombies. You know, the DLCs were actually pretty awesome, especially buried. <sighs> then, Ghost came out. I honestly love it. You know, I thought it was a masterpiece back then. I can still play it today and enjoy it. Not much people think that. I was kind of excited for 2016. I was really looking forward for a Ghost 2. But apparently it's not going to happen this year because they said that they're going to try a new innovative game. Which sucks because Ghost 2 is amazing. I didn't really care about how Rourke became a fish at the end. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed Extinction. Getting your upgrades made you feel really powerful and it made you feel like you're the savior of planet Earth just by yourself. Each time you get closer and closer to everything upgraded, you just feel amazing. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. The DLCs were okay, but I mean, yeah. Then, oh my god, I still cringe to this day. The terrible Advanced Warfare came out. I hate this game so much. Mainly because everyone acted like rabbits and jumped everywhere and there were only two game guns that were actually functionable. But they also had one map. 
one map that was actually good in every single four DLC they had. It wasn't even a multiplayer map either. Can you guess? It's the first Exo Zombies map. This basic old scrap pile of a basic map, I said basic twice, deal with it, is the only good map in the DLC lineup. This kind of changed everything. I didn't really care for it anymore. I got bored. Once Black Ops 3 was announced, I was really happy until they have announced that they have a new movement. I don't know why I stuttered there. Anyways, I don't mean to be a guy who says the new movement sucks, we need to stick on the ground. But I really am trying to be him right now. I really do enjoy the specialists and how they work even if it is stolen from a garbage, garbage game like Destiny. I really gotta wrap this up because I don't really have much time left. I'm not buying any DLCs for this game because I'm just not excited anymore. Mass Warfare really ruined my Call of Duty experience overall. It just really goes to show that one little game can ruin a whole franchise in one man's eyes. That's me, I'm in the man. I used to buy games that came out in fall and slash winter all the time. But now I don't. I buy games that intrigue me, like Lego Stars and uh, Overwatch, you know? Ah, all this innovativeness really messes up the franchise. I'm not saying that's wrong because people keep complaining about the changes that they've made, but once it's been made, everyone cries about it. Anyways, that's all I'm saying about Call of Duty. You know, have a nice day.